Hi Scorpio, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your What the Fuck reading for, and I've forgotten one of the candles, for the 6th to the 12th of July. Um, while we're shuffling, I've just got a couple of things to tell you. Reminder about the giveaway of 1,000 subs. I've got five readings up for grabs and an oracle deck. So if you want to take part in that, pop a message in the message box. And um, your name will be considered. Hold on a minute, lovelies. There's something going on with these cards. Right. Um, yeah. So please like, share and subscribe for me. Um, leave a comment if you can. And um, please remember these are general readings. They will not and cannot resonate for everybody, but take what you can and leave the rest. Please take a look at your rising sign and your moon sign, um, just to see if they make more sense to you. Uh, and there was something else, I can't remember what it was. And I'm sure I left it out of Cancer's video as well, whatever it was. Oh yeah, um, I'm doing a special offer for personal readings for um, July, uh, for £30 you would get a full general reading um, recorded and sent to you either via YouTube or email um, and then um, a post discussion if you need it to make more sense where I will pull more cards for you if needed. Um, so if you fancy that and giving it a go, uh, the Description's going to be in the description box below. Um, my email's there, my contact details are there. Um, so yeah, just drop me an email and I will send you the details of how to make the payment. And we'll take it from there. So let's get on with your readings, my darlings. Um, we've got your current, we've got your first and second aspect. Oh, I'm not taking that many for a movement however that was the only one that flipped over so we'll take that so that's your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be so Scorpio what can you do about this situation these cards are doing really odd things tonight that's what you can't do that's what the fuck is out your hands wow crikey that's the reconnecting to the true you. And the outcome plays for Scorpio. Plays. Been flying out like nobody's business, and all of a sudden it's stopped. So, Scorpio, let's have a look and see what started your what the fuck. It would appear, darlings, that you took a leap of faith about something. This is the fall. That doesn't mean that you've been the fall. The fall on this, the green man. Um, really means naivety, um, it means that you haven't educated yourself about something and you've di had this dive in deep effect. Now I don't know if that was positive or negative but it is closely followed by this lovely little page of Adamis who asks you to draw down knowledge and wisdom from the universe and use the moon to illuminate how you need to move forward and the wisdom of the um, owl to make head or tails of what's happened. So whatever you've had a leap of faith over, and it may get uncovered further on, I'm kind of getting that you may be stuck in your head a little bit, Scorpio, about this, because um, facing your fears and taking your fucking power back, darlings, 
you've got the Queen of Athames. Now, this is an air sign. You may well have air in your birth chart. However, if this is an energy that is around you, they are going to help you stand in your power. They are going to help you draw down that um, energy that the page is asking you to do. Um, you use the aphame to protect yourself, but moreover, um, once you've got it in your head that something's no longer serving you, you really need to learn to cut it out, and this is what this energy is all about. Now, that can be male or female. It does not have to be um, one particular sex. Uh, you, as you all know, I deal with energies. So, right in behind the queen, you have the world tree. So, it looks like... You've had a lot of success and a lot of luck. This, this is a yes card, like the sun card. And what it tells us is, it doesn't matter whether it's night or day or what season it is, there is success to be had. You had the serpent at the bottom for luck. Your roots go deep into the ground and your branches splay out over night and day, over the seasons. And what it's telling me is, it doesn't matter how the seasons change or come and go, um, you will have success now the only one okay yeah so right at the back there you have the five of a famous now darlings because you've got the queen here who's teaching you how to use that a for good draw down energy protect yourself and cut out what no longer serves you with the success card but when you get this now this is going to be two different lots of people having different messages because one lot of you this is going to be you trying to force your your opinion and perception onto somebody else who's really not taking it they don't want to know so all you can do in that case is sow the seed is sow the seed so that they understand that that's where you you actually stand that's your opinion and that's what you're sticking to. Um, but for some of you, it's going to be the other way around. Somebody is forcing their opinion on you. And you're like, no, that's not how I feel. I want to feel this way. Um, whichever way it works out for you. Um, I kind of get the feeling that you've got a little bit of a stalemate going with this. And what you need to do, lovelies, is just... stand your ground i'm getting that you're a little bit lost in your head but i'm getting stand your ground with the five of the famous now out of the first five cards we've pulled three of them are air signs so i think you've got a heavy air influence around you um and in some aspects i'm going to get that they are really good in teaching you how to do certain things that may not come natural to you but I am kind of getting that maybe they do try to force a little bit of opinion on you. And what you need to do is stand firmly in this success in the middle and very firmly tell them that it's your thoughts and your feelings and you don't want them muddying the water for you. Um, so if they're trying to teach you one way and you really feel uncomfortable with it, if it's out of the box for you, don't do it. Stand in your power and stand strong. For those of you who've got this air within your birth chart, you're standing strong anyway. You know you are. You're drawing down that energy from the universe anyway. And you have got a lot of strength around you. So your second aspect, um, which is your wish fulfillment, your manifestation and why it may be fucked. Darlings, You've got the moon card. Now, normally I would say this is illuminating a path for you. It's illuminating a truth or an untruth. But I'm getting the distinct feeling that you are looking at distortions. And that is why your manifestation is not coming around. You are looking at a distorted view of a manifestation. You've asked for a new clear pathway forward. But then you've gone and looked in the water and looked at the ripples rather than the actual moon and where the light is really landing that is just a reflection of the moon it doesn't mean that's where the moon is telling you to go so be very careful when you are looking at a new pathway forward that it is where you want to be 
ensure that you know where it is you want to be because I'm kind of getting that may be why how you took the leap of faith in the first place was you looking for a new pathway forward um, took a leap and it ended up being a distortion of the truth so Scorpio your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be darlings you've got the six of pentacles now this is a cut card that's about charity now when we think about charity we think about corporations and big guns making all these millions and people donating money all over the place that's not the true definition of charity if you look charity up um in the dictionary it says a kind act nowhere does it say you have to donate money and a kind act can be as simple as a hello um a touch uh picking something up for somebody opening a door for somebody just something that's going to make their day something that you're going to do for them that then they will do that in return for somebody else but this card also reminds us whether we are giving or accepting charity we should do it with dignity and grace and whenever we get the opportunity we should be offering out these kind words thoughts and feelings not just to other people but we have to remember to do it for ourselves as well so if you've not been kind to yourself recently if you're beating yourself up over the head um, about this situation that's been going on um, don't be kind to yourself go and run yourself a bubble bath light some candles have a soak do a meditation do something really really positive for you um because you're never going to move past what's happened here and i am getting it's this pathway i'm getting that you are heavily influenced to take a leap of what leap of faith down a pathway that you was unsure of and it has turned out to be a bit of a distortion but this is what you can do about the situation guys you're the three of a famous you are walking towards an open door you have turned your back on this situation can you say that on this situation you have turned your back and now you're walking towards that beauty let's try and get those off there this beautiful door that is open and illuminated for you it's still uncertain because you don't know what's on the other side but let me tell you right behind that is the sun card so not only have you got the world tree as your success but you've also got the sun card which is success growth the sun is a star darlings it makes wishes come true right in behind the star card you have celebration so what it's saying to you is when you've walked through your door and you found the success that you've been so craving go and celebrate with friends family and community but don't forget your spiritual side. This is the Holly King. He reminds us that we are all seekers, no matter where we are in our lives. We should never stop seek seeking for the answer to our spirituality or the answer to the quest that we were sent here to do on this earth. It's also the card for timing, the Father Time card. And it's telling me very clearly that the time has come for you to understand that you've thrown illumination onto that wild hunt and the illumination has set you free. You have seen what the issue is, what the problem is, you have seen it clearly. Now it's down to you to decide whether or not you are going to rebuild your tower where it is or whether you're going to piss off, take bricks with you and build it somewhere else. So darlings, that is a really good what the fuck can you do about this situation because it is telling you that the, the time is yours. The time is now and it is yours. The time is right and the time is right for you to understand what this was about and be able to move on and away from that situation. So lovelies, you have got the standing stone. Now this is... Um, natural justice this is natural justice as it as it's best you've got the scales that are in complete balance and then you've got the labyrinth at the bottom which is t telling me that you've had false starts 
but that is now clearing and that you've found a clear way through the labyrinth and the scales are coming to balance. You've got the sun shining down into you. You've got the stones for protection. You've got the beautiful daisies um, coming up all around you and it is telling you, you can't do anything about this. This natural justice is going to happen around a decision of a couple and it's a decision that can't be put off and the universe is going to nudge you in the right direction to make this decision. Now, I can't tell you whether that's positive or negative. All I can say is when you walk through that door, you're walking straight towards this couple. Um, and I'm kind of getting that maybe the celebration that you're going to be having instead of this situation you're going to be making a decision about this couple that the universe are putting in your pathway and there is no avoiding that. So love is reconnecting to the true you. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Now this is abundance coming in. This is a completion of abundance. And you may not feel abundant at the moment, but perhaps all the generations are going to pull their resources in order to make sure that the new generation that's coming up have got a good future ahead of them um, and it's always to do with finances career and um, home life so it could be work-life balance that you've decided maybe to work from home maybe start up your own business but whatever it is the 10 turns into the, a one and the one is always a new beginning around your pentacles so i do get that maybe you are thinking of going into business with family members or at least very close friends. So the outcome, my lovelies, you have got the horned god. And he asks you to stand strong. He's telling you, you know, everything in nature, including us, needs advocates. And you've got the ability to do this, Scorpio. You've got the ability to stand strong and be protective of everything that you love and know and this is what it's asking you to do is be strong and stand in your power that you know that you've got so at the bottom of the deck starting you've got a desire coming through you've got the seven of a fame is this is reaching up high and the universe sometimes is don't reach so high but in this I'm getting that you're okay for reaching for this Please be careful that you don't topple, um, but yeah, reach as high as you possibly can because this desire is something from deep down inside you. It is also very spiritual um, and part of your life's quest. So lovelies, let's ask the angels for some knowledge, wisdom and guidance around this situation. some cards for Scorpio please for the 6th to the 12th of July Anything else for Scorpio, please? Thank you. Okay, lovelies. The first card that came out was Warrior. And this card says, Be fearless and stand strong. Again, you've got this card that says almost exactly the same as your Warrior card. And then... On top of that, you've got the Lord. And this one says, take charge with authority. And this is this card. So you've got three cards telling you exactly the same thing. And then right at the bottom, you have the High Priestess. And it says, harness those mystic powers. So darlings, just one last thing about your reading. I know it says stand strong. But I really do think that you need to take the bull by the horns. 
the beginning part of your reading and just enjoy what is coming for the second half of your reading. Scorpio, thank you so much for being here. It's been an absolute pleasure. Please be safe wherever you are and I will catch up with you in next week's reading. Bye for now.